Hey guys, what's going on? I um, want to do a quick video for you here of a uh, basic tool complement. Um, if you're new to the HVAC trade, this is a, uh, a good tool complement for residential or light commercial tax. Um, I've got my impact driver here. I've got my Fluke 902 meter. That's a multimeter. Um, good meter, I think, just for taking some basic readings, um, checking amperage volts, uh, DC capacitance, a um, bunch of other stuff. We'll go over that in detail a little bit later. But this is my Vito TP4B. As you can see, it uh, it stands up by itself. Um, it's a great little bag. It does have a carrying handle on it. As you can see, it's also got a belt loop clip, or you can shove that in your pocket. Um, it also works well there. It's got a pretty durable uh, PVC composite bottom. And uh, as you can tell, it's also got a good amount of um, storage space for tools. So there's a lot that's crammed in there. And I'll uh, show you guys a little bit more. So we'll start off with um, some of the accessories out here on the side. So this is a, uh, a Klein magnetizer. Um, this thing is great for, uh, you know, just just any any kind of um, attachment that you would use in a drill. So like this, um, basically all I have to do is slide this through that magnetizer and it'll re-magnetize it and that'll work on any bit. Um, great tool to have. Uh, it's helped me uh, quite a few times and get me out of a bind. Um, this is a Malco nut driver. So this is two sizes basically. I'm going to see if I can get that to focus in on that. Uh, there we go. So you see quarter and five sixteenths there. And this is a, uh, a reversible bit. So basically I have two sizes in one, um, in one bit. And the beauty of that head coming off is that it actually makes it really easy to clean. So, you know, you'll be pulling screws and having to kind of fight your way through pookie and stuff and gunk and stuff will build up in that head well, all you have to do is just pop this head off and uh you can go ahead and clean that tip um, as you can see there's some gunk on there now um, probably probably tape or something else but um that's a pretty essential tool now that comes in three different sizes so you can get the six inch you can also get the four inch um, and then they also make the stubby version as well. Um, we're out a little, little out of focus there. Next, um, I think one of the essentials, always carry a Sharpie or some kind of marking device. Um, I, uh, I also carry this. This is a Milwaukee uh, six and a half, or excuse me, six foot little tape measure just clips on there saves me for having to carry uh, another bulky item like a tape measure um, but really helps and comes in handy when I need to take quick measurements <clears throat> then um, also on this thing I carry uh, basically this which is a locking um, refrigerant cap key so essential they make a couple different versions of this um, there's a, there's a couple different manufacturers for it, but essentially that is for locking refrigerant caps, which you'll come across sometimes in the field, and uh, that'll help get you out of a bind with that. Um, last but not least, um, I carry a flame sensor cleaner on here, and that comes in handy. Not a, not really a necessary tool, but it's just nice to have nice to have on your belt. Um, this is a refrigeration wrench and uh, that's what you use for opening and closing service valves. Um, essential tool, you gotta have it. Uh, the next tool is this Klein. Um, this Klein actually has the ability to, um, oops, trying to get that to focus in there on that. There we go. Um, so you got the top that spins, um, just nice to have, you know, because when you're pressing against something, you can use your fingers to 
use the palm to support that that top and then it just spins freely but the beauty of it is you also have reversal tips and so this is great for um, things like thermostat wire um, or sorry thermostats controls um, all kinds of all kinds of different things like that um, ha keeps you from having to carry several small sizes of screwdrivers whatever I can kind of combine in uh, in the function of one tool and lighten the load in this I uh, usually try to do um, and that actually takes us to our next item which is this um, Klein HVAC 8-in-1 um, so this has a 516 nut driver it's got Phillips flathead uh, it's got quarter inch nut driver uh, it's also got a Schrader tip um, show you in a second here so there's the Schrader tip core valve or uh, valve core remover and so that goes in there um, so that's nice that that saves me from basically having to carry uh, a flathead and a Phillips and a nut driver you know 5 16 you know um, this is great this is a great little tool. This is a, a flexible, uh, flexible um, bit holder, and so this goes into your impact. And uh, it's not impact rated, so you don't want to apply uh, a lot of torque to it. But um, it gives you a, a good amount of reach, and it also um, is is pretty flexible, as you can see. Um, so great little tool to have. I think they sell that at Lowe's. Um, You'll find a bunch of different variations of that, uh, different places, but um, I always carry that. Uh, this is a uh, basically a pipe, my PVC uh, pipe cutter. It's made by Hillmore, and um, it's a decent model. I'm giving it a shot. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Hillmore brand altogether in terms of their hand tools, but um, it's a... Uh, it's a really good pipe cutter it goes up to inch and a quarter and um, gives you quite a range on it it's got a lot of uh, got a lot of leverage in its action so um, another thing that's in here that's absolutely essential especially if you're working on units uh, in the dark is this uh, Milwaukee Rover and as you can see it's pretty bright it puts out about 400 lumens um, second is I think three and then it goes all the way down to whoops no oh, never mind Seconds about half that 200, um, but it's got a rechargeable battery. Uh, it's got a USB port, so micro USB over here on the side. Um, this is an absolutely awesome light, and uh, I use it all the time in service work. It's got a magnet on the top. It's also got a magnet on the back, as well as a belt clip, um, so you don't have to carry it uh, in your tool bag. But I always have that thing on me. Um, it gives you a good amount of. Uh, gives you a, a decent amount of um, of, uh, of lighting you will have to charge it periodically I actually carry two because um, I always have one alternating on the charger or uh, basically um, in my pouch in my bag here so um, this is also a uh, this is a Weera um, so this is a flexible uh, flexible shaft um, bit holder uh, it's got a quarter inch bit hold holder up there um, this will give you some range just just a, uh, a manual version basically a hand a hand tool version of uh, the one I showed you earlier um, it's great love it um, good quality Weira makes great tools um, they're a German tool manufacturer this is, uh, this is my set of, um, of needle nose um, they're actually rated for a thousand volts and they have cutters built into them. Um, I like these because the tip on them is is very fine, very small, and uh, and so that's that's what I was going for. I wish um, they were a little bit longer. Um, I'm looking at another version made by Kinepex um, that I'm actually thinking about picking up. But uh, Weha is another um, great tool manufacturer. Um, that you should check out and I'll post these links in the uh, in the comment section or excuse me in the uh, uh, narrative down below um, I always carry a, uh, a Phillips tip for the uh, a longer a longer shaft tip for um, the impact uh, just in case it always comes in handy 
always use it. This is, um, if I can get it to come out. There we go. This is a Klein, um, non-contact voltage detector. It's also got a light built into it, um, just in case you're, you're, uh, getting into, uh, uh, an area that's poorly lit and you need to check for, uh, voltage. Um, this does actually both. It does high and low voltage. So those two yellow bars in the bottom are for the low voltage. If low voltage is present, like 24 volts on a system, those two will light up on the bottom, those ambers. And then the, uh, the red are for, for high voltage to tell you if high voltage is present. So, um, that's a great tool. Uh, a must have some meters, uh, multimeters come with it, but, um, you know, always just carry one separately. And when you're working with this, um, best practice is, is usually to check uh, what is known live voltage with this first and then go to test uh, for, um, you know, a line or a line that's dead, basically. Um, that's the safest way to use these. But these will these will let you down, you know. I mean, I've, I've had some malfunction on me. You never know when it's going to happen. Um, but I've been shocked before um, by trusting these. So, you know, just always verify when you uh, when you go to use these because um, you know it's the safest 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 practice. So that goes back in there. Um, this guy is basically a ratcheting um, Klein stubby. Let's see if I can get that to. So it's ratcheting stubby. It's basically got a quarter five sixteenths, um, smaller and larger. This this actually pulls out. Um, you adjust the direction of the. Uh, one second here. You adjust the direction of the ratchet with this yellow band around here. So you flip it one way or another. Um, this thing will get you out of so many binds. Uh, if you've got a tight space you're working in, and. Uh, you know, you, you can't even get in there to turn it. Um, that thing is amazing. Um, so I was curious. Um, I've got a set of uh, just basically straight Milwaukee uh, tin snips. Um, those are for just making straight cuts. They do have different angles and stuff for, uh, for left or right hand cuts. Um, but good set of tools. Um, Decent shears, I like them. Um, these are sheet metal shears, and they're made by Milwaukee. Um, they've held up pretty decent so far. They're pretty sharp, um, and uh, we're giving them a shot. Uh, next, I've got these guys, and this is uh, Klein. These are long nose, um, basically wire wire grabber strippers, um, but they also have a crimping function built into it. So I replaced. Um, basically my set of wire crimpers and my separate set of strippers with just this one um, tool in my bag and that's kind of what I was talking about earlier um, these have been great so far I wish they had a spring action on them but they don't so um, it's the only drawback um, not quite sure where they put a spring because normally it's down here at the bottom where the, the crimper section is but um, it does go all the way down to um, 22 gauge uh, which is a little hard to tell in this video, but um, that's that's good. That's one of the things I like is sometimes you come across that thermostat wire and it's and it's a fine gauge. It's it's finer than 18, and uh, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to. Um, it's really kind of a pain in the butt to strip back. Um, so I've got those. I've got um, basically another Hillmore tool here. This is a duck knife. Um, so this is what we use to to cut through duct and insulation. Um, kind of an essential tool to have uh, next up I always carry a couple probes these have magnets on the back of them and so they're temperature probes and uh, actually it's 69.8 outside here um, these are made by UEI and uh, they're great you can slap them on a register um, you, can, you can poke them through a, a hole in the plenum or um, you know, just leave it on the side of the condenser if we're having to check, you know, superheat and subcooling, all that. Um, if you're working with uh, uh, analog gauges versus digital, um, those are great to have. Uh, help you do the math. Uh, these are 
my Kinepex Cobra um, channel locks and these things are amazing probably the best in the industry I would never use another brand besides these um, these have amazing grip um, they feel great in your hands they're they're super easy to work with um, and uh, I love them then obviously I've got uh, orc line stuff um, these are basically I, I call these dikes I don't you know people call them nippers or there are other things um, basically they're they're uh, they're like diagonal cutters I guess um, not sure what the proper uh, proper trade name is for them but uh, another essential thing um, that you should absolutely carry uh, in addition to a crescent wrench um, this is a Hillmore one I've had this for a while it's seen some uh, some use um, but still works great I mean as long as you take care of your stuff you know it's gonna last you forever and if you buy good tools you buy quality tools they're gonna take care of you for a long time um, but that's that's uh, almost pretty much it um, I've got a few other things I carry in here in this pouch in the front one of them is a mini tubing cutter um, by rigid I just I like this model um, it seems to be one of the smaller ones in the field this is one of the smallest ones um, they make and uh, um, it served me well um, I've used it. it it just keeps on going um, this is a fairly new one I bought um, several for different bags and stuff um, that I have for for different uh, purposes and functions this is kind of like my go bag this is just what I grab when I go to a service call so um, then I carry I always carry a little magnet um, it's retractable um, just has a magnetic tip and uh, it's great for fishing out small parts if you drop something in a condenser or down in a crack um, uh, you know a crack or a crevice or something um, just makes it really handy uh, you can even carry it in your pocket it's got a little pocket clip um, makes it really handy and this thing does extend up to uh, I don't know at least like 18 inches so um, great little tool to carry um, another thing is I carry an inspection mirror um, sometimes there's just you can't get that uh, that proper uh, angle or um, you can't see you know behind something so this is also extendable and retractable and so carry that too in there always um, another tool that's absolutely essential I think uh, for every tech to have is this uh, little popper um, this is a 3 amp 3 amp circuit breaker um, so basically this is in in lieu of um, blowing a bunch of fuses when you're trying to track down that low voltage uh, fault ground fault um, these plug into the fuse terminals on you know either the board or wherever it's at usually it's going to be on a board um, and then you can see it's got a real uh, resettable um, popper up there <laughs> for lack of a better term and uh, that's something that always goes with me um, it's part of always part of my diagnostic bag um, this is a great tool uh, this is made by yellow jacket and this is basically um, for taking care of your hoses um, so there's a little hook um, that attaches in here and that makes it easy to, to pull gaskets out of your hoses um, it's also got this little uh, stamper at the top here and this for, fits perfectly inside uh, you know quarter inch hoses that you would use on like your manifold and everything else and um and it's just it it, it even carries a even carries a couple of um the uh the o-rings and and other things that you would use so if you have a leaking hose um this is a quick like patch repair kit um and tool that that you can use so that goes with me pretty much everywhere as well um and i think that's pretty much it um thanks Thanks for watching. Um, hit that like button if this helped you. Um, and uh, comment, subscribe. Um, let us know how we could uh, help you out in any way. Um, ask questions, we'll, we'll get back to you. Thanks so much.